Hello once more and welcome to uh, To End All Wars. Now that wasn't a sentence that was easy to say, but it appears that it did say about orders, which is quite nice actually. I didn't think it would, but apparently it does say the orders, so that's quite nice. We'll be able to do that in the future then. Um, so things that have occurred. Occurred. Uh, well, we have the French uh, fleet off the coast here. I don't know where the British squadron are. Well, it is, sorry. If, if I knew where they were, I could go and intercept. Though I do not know the strength of this fleet, but I doubt it's that strong if it says there's only a few ships there. I mean, if you compare to that, yeah. I, I don't think they would come out on top, in all honesty. Right, so we have some... What are these, supply ships? Supply ship? Oh, a seaplane carrier. Ah. Interesting. Combat power very low. I wonder, well, I imagine they'll probably become more useful as the war goes on, or something. Well, at least I'd expect so, but I've not seen any particular bonus with them, so that's interesting. Who knows, actually? Hmm. Quite interested by that, actually. Right, so we have some transports, auxiliary cruiser there. Probably an out-of-date one. Obsolete, most likely. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, what is this? The Anglo-Japanese Treaty. Originally signed in 1902, the Anglo-Japanese alliance was originally designed to keep Russian ambitions in the Pacific in check. Reaffirmed and expanded after the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, it served as a catalyst to bring the Japanese into the Great War against Germany. In return for their aid in routing the Germans out of the Pacific Holdings, the Japanese gained control over most of their previous... Oh, over most of the j previous German colonies in the Far East, and strengthened their position against China in the mainland. Uh, this event... Oh, fucking hell. Japan shifts 50% alignment towards the Entente. Are we at war with the Japanese? We will be, next turn. We will definitely be at war with the Japanese. Well, that's not good. That's gonna be a bit of a problem, considering that we're going to be facing the Japanese fleet, and it's, it's not the biggest, but it's not a... It's not a laughing matter. It's going to cause me issues, that's no doubt. <coughs> okay. So we have the diplomat here. We have the state funds to send him somewhere. Um... Okay. And so, actually, we'll send him to the Ottoman Empire. If we can get the Ottoman Empire into this war, then that will definitely serve us. Um, munition factories would be quite nice. And yet again, I do not have the war supply, which is always quite irritating. Um, the Battle of Bern. Or Bern. Yeah. Victory there. <coughs> okay. Um, so we did capture some supply la uh, wagons, that's quite nice. Okay. Hmm. We may as well have this go back to somewhere where it can be resupplied with ammunition. Um, namely the... Oh, we could go to Strasbourg. That's fine. So we'll send that to Strasbourg. Or Strasbourg. Okay. We'll partition these supplies, I think. Right, yeah. Actually, I've sent them on a interesting journey, haven't I? Okay, you go there. You go there. Okay, that's good. Um, could do a larger garrison here for damn sure. Hmm. Oh, we do have our forces over here that we've gathered, don't we? How many men do we have here? 
<clears throat> right, so we have 87,000 men here. That's quite good. Hmm. Okay, that would take 42 days. Right, 16 days. So it could be then almost a turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could we have these men... I would like to build a fort here. I imagine you probably need um, some engineers or something. <clears throat> hmm. We have a fortress there, so we can move some more troops over there. The Battle of Coningsburg. Okay. That's pretty good. Um. In all honesty, we might want him in the army. So I think we'll add him to this army here. He's pretty damn good. Obviously, as he is the overall commander. Move yet more forces down to the front. <clears throat> um, I think we'll have a force in Bremen just in case there's any naval activity from the British or French. I do not believe there will be in all honesty. Okay, so we still have the Russian force over here, which will be annihilated in the following turn. Right, so we're going to the offensive. Those are, says they have destroyed the railway at Konigsberg. That's not nice. Okay, so this force has left. We'll have this um, division head down here, just to recapture the railways. Well, to increase our military presence. Okay. Can they just please destroy the railway? That would be absolutely bloody lovely. Okay. We could definitely chase this force. Then again, we are low in ammunition, aren't we? But if we can finish that force, that would be good. Well, then again. Okay. We do, new, uh, we do need to resupply this army, don't we? So, in fact, I think we'll head um, to Danzig. Be there in nine days. Resupply ammunition. Which will be good for us. Um... This division can head into Danzig as well. How's our merchant vessel going? How many turns? We'll be a pro. Uh, 193 days. Okay, fair enough. I am tempted, in all honesty. How long until these are ready? 520 days. 510 days. So it will be a while before we have um, more ships. Which is good, actually. It did take a hell of a long time to build these ships, of course. Right. And then on the Serbian front, things are going okay, to be honest. Not too bad. Uh, where did I send this other force? Oh, I merged it over here, didn't I? Yes, I did. We do have more men that are ready now, which is quite good for us. Hmm. We have the gunboat here. I'll bring the gunboat down here, then maybe we can get some bombardment going. 
That would be nice. Okay, yeah, you could take that. Free. Yeah, okay. Gather our forces. It's generally not a good idea to um, have different troops under different commands, but we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. Then again, there's no need for us to move the overall commander. It would be quite a loss if we were to lose him. Okay. This force is activated. I think we'll just have him um, move through here and just basically establish military control. Ah, we do have this force as well. Fair enough. <laughs> um, this small force can move over here and try and cut off the um, supplies. Actually, in, in all honesty, they just need to sit down. They'll just sit somewhere pretty for a few, well, for a turn or two, and just recover. Ammunition's low as well. Ammunition is something that we definitely need to take into account, as uh, Austria-Hungary does not have much near the front lines. So I think we'll send this force uh, down to Budapest. They'll be there in 13 days, and they should be able to resupply their ammunition. Actually, no, then again, it's kind of ridiculous, that is, isn't it? We'll just send the um, ammunition, the munitions. Hopefully, they'll be able to resupply. Um. Oh, no, I don't want to build ships, actually. Um. Yeah, these uh, munitions are hugely expensive at 400 war supply and a lot of cash. You do not want to lose one of those. Okay. It's one thousand men. It's not the strongest army. That's very strange. Okay. Ooh, bloody hell. You see this uh, penalty over here? That's incredibly huge. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to send this uh, fleet back into Istria. To 
to uh, basically regain cohesion and resupply and etc etc um, right the Kaiser's gold okay Right, so that will shift um, the Ottoman Empire 20% towards us. So that will bring them to 95%, so... Um, we should be able to bring the Ottoman Empire into the war in, like, maybe a turn or two. Hopefully. Okay. Is that everything that I wanted to move? Uh, I don't believe I have any other forces. Well, I do have this. Uh, once again, we'll send this back to port. There's no need for it to be out here in the open. Okay. Um, I'm going to gather my forces in... Well, down here. Then we'll make a possible offensive against Serbia. Uh, there's not particularly too much need. Though it does take up valuable forces on that front. Um... Bulgaria, 66% towards me. Once they get to 70%, they will move towards me no matter what, which is fantastic. Um, the same with Romania, and they're pretty damn close. So, Bulgaria and Romania could be within our alliance fairly soon. Okay. So, 55 on the Netherlands. Um, bringing the Netherlands in would be really nice, actually. That would be just, it would be just uh, really nice. And if we could bring in Belgium, that would be even better. Just made this a really nice front. Um, spread the French forces throughout the lands. Okay. Other than that, I don't believe there's anything else we want to do. Um, I'm kind of wanted to save war supplies so we can uh, build munition factories. Because we are going to need them, goddammit. <laughs> right. Did I not actually... Okay, we'll just save the turn anyway. I thought I actually clicked 10 turn, but... There we go. Now it's done. So we'll see what happens. Um... I'm kind of hoping that the Russian army on the fortress, I can't remember the name of the fortress that it's actually sieging, um, but if they were to assault that would be a dream. I don't want them to sit there and siege it out, but in all honesty it works to my advantage in both ways. The only thing that would be a bad outcome, besides obviously the loss of the fortress, would be the uh, um, Russian army moving again. I don't want them moving again, it's a large force. And it suits me better if they stay in one place, which is obviously quite nice of me. I can try and cut them off from supplies. Obviously, they're using their supplies as we speak. And a large army will go through their supplies very quickly. Um, also, they have munition supplies, which will be drained drastically. Due to the large amounts of artillery they probably have. But we shall see. On the French front, um, if I can get troops down to the fortress I captured, that would be lovely. If we get a garrison in there, that'd be nice. Well, I could put a garrison in there, but the only thing is with the troops is like... We'll see. And um, the Japanese will now enter the war. Okay, we're bombarding here, apparently. That's not too bad. May damage the enemy army a little bit. We're going to have to definitely repair the rails at Konigsberg. We can't allow that to stand. Well, and they're fucked. Yep. So the battles in East Prussia are going very well. Yeah. That was good. That's not good. That should have been in port. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> hmm. That was kind of suicidal of them. What do they have here? The armed cruisers. Okay. 
I was very suicidal of them. Ooh, Russian supply. And again. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. As ever, I'm interested to see what the French are going to do. Oh, I see Mr. Brusilov. Serbian troop movements. Yeah, um, the water, well, the seas around. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> Ah, yes, Dublin. Well, that's another objective that we've taken. I believe it was an objective. I'm sure Dublin was an objective. But we've taken it anyway, so, yeah. Oh, hello. Right, what is this army doing? It looks like the um, Russians are trying to penetrate further into Austria. Well, that's not going to work out too well for them. Obviously it will do damage to me, but it's going to do more damage to them as they could potentially lose that army. And really what's more important right now, a city or a army? That noise is probably the most annoying noise I've ever heard. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't the busiest of turns, actually. Not too much happened. But a lot of good things for us, which is nice. Okay, well that was good. Kaiser's go to Turkey. And yeah, the Goban and the Brazilow. Go over here. Yep, yeah, 96%. So we'll see the Ottoman Empire in the war very soon. And then we can focus on bringing the Italians in. Um, I'm not worried about the Americans. It's going to take a hell of a long time for them anyway. And it's not like the Entente is focusing on it. Right, here we go. Actually, I think we'll garrison this force. So they'll actually have the benefit of the fortress. Which I should have done. Uh, we are seeing a lot of French forces here. Um, okay. Ideally, I'd like to be able to defeat this French army, but there's really... Well, what could I really do against it? And that's the issue I have. Uh, they will be reinforced by the British in time. Okay. Hmm. That would be 12 days. Um, to be honest, actually, I'm going to send this army back. We don't want to leave ourselves cut off. That would be horrific. Where's the army here? Hmm. Oh, okay, joined onto him, I see. Hmm.
Oh dear, we need more ammunition. There we go, so it does definitely resupply. Uh, that's fantastic to know. Okay, let's take a look. So this does produce supplies, which is nice. So I guess we'll build a depot here. Okay. We'll leave this army here for now, actually. Let them regain their cohesion. We have a good amount of uh, war supply as well. Okay. Um... Build one in Vienna. Where's Berlin? So there's somewhere. Ah, there we go, Berlin. Can we not afford it? Oh, it's the engagement points, isn't it? Of course. Right, okay. Okay, so we have the German Marines down here. <clears throat> this border is very well defended. Honestly, I would not like to be the Italians and try and break through this. Obviously, they'd have to try and make their way up here. But goddamn, that's a lot of fortresses. Okay, so these forces will be ready in time. What is he like as a general? Arrogant. Hmm. Not really the best then. Right, we'll activate this army here, or this force. Uh, the good thing is, we'll have uh, Romania and Bulgaria eventually, which will be really good. Obviously the Ottomans soon, so Serbia will be crushed, and then we can launch um, offensive into Russia from the south and um, into the Ukraine. Okay, this will fall to us. Well, it would do if we could assault it, you son of a bitch. Hello. Do I see opportunity? No. Is this going to take us forever to get there? Fuck. Oh well. 